Hi, it's Mark from TrainSpark here, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can add interactive elements to your Learn Dash course content using something called H5P. Now, H5P is very popular, so you may have heard of it before, but if you haven't, head over to h5p.org for a full explanation. What you'll find here is that H5P is a community-driven project that has lots of interactive elements like this, where you can create things like flashcards and more using their tools and embed them into not just WordPress, but Moodle and other platforms and make your content a lot more interactive and engaging for the user. So the best place to look here and see what H5P is capable of is the examples and downloads page. And here you'll see all the different types of interactivity that you can add to your site. So there's things like interactive video, course presentations, branching scenarios, crosswords, and lots and lots of, of different options here. And even they've even added augmented reality in a, in a recent version of this at the time we recorded the video. So... If you want to see an example of one of these in action, you could click on one of our favorites here, which is interactive video. And what this does is it takes a standard video and overlays interactivity on top of it. So you have buttons and potentially things like quizzes that appear within the video content just to check that the person's paying attention and taking in what's being shown in the video. So that's an overview of what H5P is, and <coughs> definitely recommend taking a look at uh, this page to, to see some examples. So let's have a look at how we can get that onto our Learn Dash site. So we head to our WordPress dashboard, and we will go to plugins and install the H5P plugin. So we'll go to add new here, and we'll just search for H5P and we've got this option here it's called interactive content hyphen h5p at the time of recording it's got 40,000 active installations and five stars as its reviews so we'll just click on install now here and once that's installed we can activate it and once that's activated on the left hand side in the left hand menu somewhere near the bottom you'll have this option for h5p content here and at the moment we've got nothing in there but that's going to change soon when we add some content to it so if we head to add new here the first thing you'll find is that it asks for consent to contact h5p's own hub so what that does is create a bridge almost between your site and h5p's own library and it can pull in interactive elements as you choose to use them. So if I just consent now, you'll see an example here. We can see a list of all the different types of interactivity here. So if I head back to this page here, you'll see them listed. But you can see we've got interactive video, course presentation, multiple choice, fill the blanks, drag the words. So there's lots of different types that we can just use from this list. So for example, if I just wanted to find the hotspot activity here, I can choose get, install it, and that will then pull in from the site and we can click here to use it. So every H5P type or in interactivity type has a different set of options here. So you'll find that depending on what they are, um, they'll have different options, but typically you will give them a title. And you'll have other elements that you choose based on the type of interactivity that you're using. So that each one, as I say, will have a different type. One way to see one that's already been set up is to actually download one that's been created. So you can do that by going to one here. So say the crossword example here. And at the bottom of most, most H5P interactive option, uh, activities here, you'll see something called reuse. And what you can do is click on that 
and then download that content as a H5P file and that will save to your computer. What you can do then is click on this upload option here and upload that H5P file from your computer and then click use. And what you'll find is it creates it and downloads any libraries it needs and it will bring in that exact H5P activity with all of its options already set up. So we can see here, the crossword type is slightly different. We've got the question, which is where are these located? And we've got different options here and you can put in your clues and things like that and edit them depending on what you want these to say. And we can add new words here just by clicking this. So it's a really nice intuitive interface for most of these H5Ps when you set them up. And all I would do now is click create. And we have this that we can put onto our site. So I'll just say, um, is that uh, maybe it's Paris, something like that. And we'll see that that fills those in and we can check these and it's it's a really nice uh, bit of interactivity that we can add to one of our courses so we've now created that and it's in our library uh, so if we go to all h5p content we can see that we've got one piece of content that we've created here which is this crossword so what i'm going to do now is add that to one of my learn dash lessons and to do this, what we can do is open the activity again, as if we were going to edit it. And we have this option for a short code here, and it says you can use the following short code to insert this interactive content into posts, pages, widgets, templates, etc. So what I'm going to do is just copy that. So by selecting it, right clicking and copying. And then I'm going to head to the course or page of the course that I want to add that interactive element to. So I'll just choose a random learn dash lesson here and then I'm going to choose edit lesson. And within here all we do is just choose maybe short code here and we can paste that in. So depending on whether you use the visual editor or the Gutenberg editor you'll add this in a slightly different way but all you really need to do is paste in that bit of code here, this short code. Now it says it's H5P ID equals one. I'll just get rid of one of these to uh, make this a uh, bit easier to see. I'm going to click update now. And that's now been changed. So if I come completely out of here and then back into that lesson again, as if I was accessing it as a learner, I'll go back into here open this page and within our learn dash content here we've now got this crossword that we can now complete so have a look at the examples and downloads and see what options there are here and there'll be lots of things that can really add some life to your content and it's really use really really useful tool and it works really well with learn dash so we hope you find this useful and if you did find it useful, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.